Town managers bring us behind the scenes as virus response and relief take shape. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, the first election of 2020 was all about familiar faces as seven incumbent council members keep their seats in Breckenridge and Frisco. In Breck, Mayor Eric Mamula wins a second term by a landslide, 89%. And here's how he's feeling. Number one, relief. You know, you never, you know, you never know how an election is going to go. Breck council members Jeffrey Bergeron, Dick Carlton, and Kelly Owens remain, now joined by Dennis Kuhn, a first-time elected official. Mamula says they've got a long road ahead, and locals at a virtual coffee talk this morning had questions about the future. We had a lot of great questions this morning about moving forward. Will the golf course, are we going to open on time? Are we still going to build a parking structure? Are we still doing fiber infrastructure? You know, what's going on with City Market? In Frisco, Mayor Pro Tem Hunter Mortensen replaces Gary Wilkinson, while Rick Enkin and Jesse Burley defend their seats. Newcomer Andrew Aronson fills a four-year term. Andy Held gets two years. This week on the State of Summit, we talk candidly about COVID-19 with three of four town managers. I think it's safe to say that everybody's focusing on the here and now or the immediate future and not looking as to what a month or two from now is going to look like. That was Rick Holman, town manager for Breckenridge, on the state of crisis mitigation in Breck. He is proud the town council moved quickly on a $1.5 million relief package while postponing capital projects and putting a freeze on some hiring. And we came up with several million dollars there that we were able to save. In Silverthorne, town manager Ryan Heidland led his council through a similar cost-cutting measure and now looks to April 26th when the statewide stay-at-home order expires. When we do reopen for business at the Recreation Center or if we're fortunate enough to have some events this summer, those are probably going to look different. That could look like less equipment at the rec center and limits on capacity. It could also mean rethinking big events like 4th of July. Every event has so many different components and linkages and everybody's got this unknown so it's really hard to know exactly what things are going to look like. It will be different but I sure hope that we can have a, a great 4th of July concert but again you know, the focus right now is flattening the curve, and that's what is most important. New Dillon Town Manager Nathan Johnson's first day on the job was March 9th, five days after Summit's first case of coronavirus, and he has not missed a step. People are looking for you to sort of be the leader, uh, to guide the ship. Dillon's so big speak. priorities are summer recreation at the marina and entertainment at the amphitheater, with most likely some social distancing. Different amenities that won't be able to open up because of extreme mitigation requirements, such as the six foot rule. So that in turn could impact negatively on the amount of events that we can host here in Dillon, whether it be concerts or even the farmer's market. All three town managers agree summer 2020 will not be the same as usual, but they are doing what's possible to salvage a slice of summit normalcy. Tune in again next Wednesday for the State of Summit on Crystal 93. Millions of acres across the West are now under fire ban, led by warm, dry weather, blustery winds, and resources stretched thin by public health orders. Summit Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons. It prohibits igniting, building, maintaining, attending, or using a fire, including charcoal grills and barbecues, coal, and wood-burning stoves. The fire ban covers most Forest Service property in Colorado and four neighboring states, plus private property in Park County, with no expiration date yet. Dillon Dam Road reopened late this morning after a four-week closure for runoff and falling snow. The bike path there remains snow-packed. Today would have been the 31st annual A Basin Enduro, a 10-hour ski-a-thon to see how many laps teams of two can make on Pally Chair. And COO Alan Henseroth is mourning the loss. We miss all you guys and can't wait to see you here again. Henseroth is still holding out hope the basin can open by May or possibly June, snow and virus pending. In local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon, local anglers have been asking, where can I fish and will I get busted on the Colorado or Arkansas rivers? Summit, Grand, Park, and Lake Counties mirror the statewide stay-at-home order, limiting travel and recreation to your home county only. The high country is a patchwork of boundaries, and local public health orders do not cover state parks, BLM, or Forest Service property. Call agencies directly for the latest on local restrictions. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.